Hi, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage in Southern California. We're having our monthly tech meet, and today we're going to be talking about the heater system on a Silver Cloud 3 and the other clouds also. So, um, just so anybody who is wondering what this extra valve is for, this is a manual water valve, and they have a summer position and a winter position. So the winter is more open, the summer is less open, and they usually seize, they usually get broken, and they leak a lot, which is no big deal. It's just a tapered brass piece that fits into a tapered housing, and to fix them, you take them apart, clean them up, take some lapping compound in there and make a nice fit, raise them up so that they can move again, and they're, and they're good to go. Is that in the engine compartment yeah. under the yeah, dash? Yeah, this or? on the Silver Cloud 1, this would be up on the, on the firewall on the left side. There's another one for the other core, and it depends on the model where it's at, I forget. I think, I think they're both on the left side, but it depends. Really, it depends. Coach built cars, they just kind of change things. But if you take the fender off, do you destroy the paint? It's potential. It's always a disclaimer. When I write an estimate to do one of those, it's a lot of money, first of all, a lot of time, and not responsible for any paint damage. I'm always careful, but it's an old car, and, you know, just like on the E-types, when I pull an engine, I do not pull that bonnet. Hell no, right? It all comes out the bottom. That's the, that's the way. So I, I don't like taking things off the car. Unfortunately, on modern cars, even those, you've got to pull the hoods off to get the, the, the radiator out. So mm. That's a lot easier than pulling a fender, because to access, I think on the Cloud 2, to access one of the bolts on that fender, you've got to pull that door off. I don't know if you have to on the threes. So few people go for it that I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ronnie, question. Sure. You, you mentioned uh, that plug the radiator could be a reason why your heater is not working. A plugged heater core. Right. Uh, yeah, small, that little mm -hmm. radiator inside. Is it uh, the main uh, reason, uh, or oh, yeah, why that the, the whole system is not working, or other reasons like what are uh, second, let's say third reason? Well, thing is not working. you have a, an S3, right? Or a Cloud 3? Uh, yeah, both. Oh, okay. Um, it's usually a combination. See, when this motor stops working, the coolant doesn't, roll, doesn't flow here, so it's not circulated. So it'll almost always, when this, if the motor gets, a wire gets knocked loose, or for whatever reason, it doesn't work, this will plug up. When this plugs up, the coolant sits in here, it plugs up. It's usually, almost always, you gotta do one or two actuators, the electric part, both valves, and flush that out. It's typically what I've found on cars that don't work. Any other questions? I've got a comment. A comment? Right. To do with the motors, the, the, the one disadvantage with those motors is they only have about the maximum four set positions. You can't make more minor adjustments to your temperature. You're going to be over here or you're going to be here because of the way they're designed. They're not a, they're not a true positive feedback control. What now? The last part? Well, they're not, 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 a, they're not a continually variable feedback control. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. not at all. They have set positions. Yeah, set positions. Whereas um, if you have simple control on the front, like a, a lever connected with a wire <coughs> to your water valve, you can make those little adjustments. But that's for the common people. That's the Martins <laughs> use that. Yeah. <laughs> That's debatable. Yeah. Oh. It's a deep pocket common folk car. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very deep uh, I agree with you. I like manual stuff. Yeah. yeah. I do. Yeah. I think this is pretty slick. Uh, sh the silver sh this has four actuators. This yeah. the silver cloud three. Shadow has eleven. So. Let's make it more complicated, right? It's, uh, and then the Shadow 2 has automatic air. 
<laughs> so automatic is just kind of a misnomer in my, my, my opinion. It's supposed to maintain a certain temperature, and I guess when they were brand new from the factory, they might have within a range. But it's just more complicated. Uh, I don't know about you guys who have this kind of air conditioning system, but when I get in and I want it cold, I just push it to the blue all the way. So it blows cold and then all the way to the heat. Uh, this Bentley though is, is pretty amazing. Now that Turbo R over there, it has a more refined version than the Shadow. Still has the complexity, but uh, I can set that on the both white bands and it keeps it perfect. Maybe a quarter inch fine adjustment on my part to, you know, depending on the circumstances. And uh, the late, there's a late, a 95 Flying Spur out there, which has a more, a little bit more modern version of that. Um, it's, it's got seven relays for the load carrying circuits, right? And they've got diodes in them. And I've seen so many people just put another relay in there without the diode in there, burn up that, that circuit board. The micro circuit board and, and it doesn't burn it you don't see anything but it just doesn't work and, and that one out there I've got a problem with there's no fans now the fan circuits on that car it's got a big resistor thing it's got five relays for the fans one is the main and then the other four are different fan speeds so it sends circuitry through that that uh, resistor and here <laughs> I took my voltmeter DVOM and checked and the relay for the main fan relay, was, it wasn't coming on. I could jump the, the, the power circuit or the, the load circuit and the fans worked great. And I checked for voltage and ground at that plug for that relay. I had voltage and ground. Plug the relay in, not enough to make it work. Even though my DVOM says 12 volts when I put the, the negative on the ground side and this, there's not enough push through the ground circuit, because that, that circuit board grounds the relay. And I, I'm sure it's, you know, something's happened, obviously, but that's, so now we got to get a processor board. But it worked before. It doesn't now, sorry. All right, let's go look at uh, this test car over here, and we're going to see what they happened. They convinced me never to do it. I'm sorry? They just convinced me never to do it, never to fix it. Well, just put on layers, right? <laughs> yeah. And keep that towel to, to keep the windshield clear. Or don't drive it unless it's nice out. Yeah. That's your MO. I know That's that. right. Yes. It's a nice day. I think I'll go drive it.